Ryan Vincent here from Sally Entertainment. I'm with Luca and Marcus of the Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association. First and foremost, boys, how are you feeling tonight? Feeling pretty good. Yeah, feeling pretty good. You guys are facing off against the Cloverdale Colts. What's the plan to shut them down? Their record isn't the best. You guys are middle of the pack. How do you accelerate and get the victory for you guys? Uh, get pucks on deep and get shots on net. Just get shots on net, put pucks in deep and chase. Sounds like a good game plan. Hey, on behalf of BioSteel, I got a whole hydration pack for you and your team. There's some Selly stickers. And because you brought us out, here's a brand new Selly hoodie for you. After that, a couple quick fun questions before I let you go. Besides hockey, what's your favorite hobby or pastime? Uh, fishing. Probably just, just hanging out at home with friends. Awesome. Last question, who's your favorite hockey player? Vancouver. Um, Quinn Hughes. Connor McDavid. There you go. Hey, good luck in tonight's game, boys. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Welcome back to Sally Entertainment. I'm your host, Ryan Vincent, and tonight we got the Cloverdale Colts versus the Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association. Live from Poirier Sport and Leisure Complex in beautiful Coquitlam, British Columbia, this is the Friday Night Special. With me, not so classic, but still a co-host, Aaron Green. Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you clicked on this video, do us a small favor before you watch it. Hit that subscribe button, smash that thumbs up, and don't forget, today's episode has been powered by BioSteel. Green, it's the Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association, right in front of our eyes with those black jerseys and yellowish trim, and they have cost them between the pipes for them. And on the other end, right in front of our eyes, at this exact moment, it's the Cloverdale Colts wearing those white jerseys with blue and red trim, looking like a popsicle, and they have Gil in between the pipes for them. <laughs> Hello, Gil, and hello, Costa. Green, this is the PCAHA U15 A1. It's a regular season game, and I'm excited. I'm right there with you, man. I can't wait to get it underway. On that note, I want to take a quick second to apologize in advance if I mispronounce your name or call you the wrong number. I'm sorry. That being said, let's dive into the action let's. with number seven, Cocos of the Cloverdale yes, Colts, sir. having the first shot of the game almost right away, Green. We know Cocos. We do know him indeed. He's a great player. Let's see uh, how he performs out there tonight, Green. He's a physical body out there, my he, friend. He is indeed. Let's see if we're going to see some of that here tonight. Oh, it's, I hope uh, so. Number nine, So, so trying to find a uh, pass out front. The goaltender got in the way of that one, and the whistle is blown. Face off one by the Cloverdale Colts. Smilly feeds it over to 14 and feeds it right back. Down low was looking for Smilly or Smiley. I don't know. Um, Cloverdale Colts after that, number 16. Lee. Lee has it, dishes it off to Cho. Cho looking for Lee. Hits his tape on the backhand. Nice save by Costa as he gets turned around by the Coquitlam, but they cannot clear the zone as the Colts rip it from the point. Right up oh, front, loose. the puck is loose. No one's on it. Gets to number 19, Jones. Jones lets it rip through traffic. Costa makes a save as the Allegrado carries it into the zone of the Colts, but the Colts stop that from happening. Man, the Colts seem to be putting a lot of pressure on Coquitlam right now. They're looking really good right now, but it's Coquitlam Phillips who has that puck. The other end, here you go, Phillips on the back end was looking for the point, almost got intercepted, but not quite. Right back to Phillips who has a shot. Nice shot block by Jones. Phillips has it, feeds it right to Allegretto. Gets hammered by number 19, but he didn't go down. He's a champ, Green. And he didn't finish the check, which was smart, because he would have got a hitting from behind there. That's right. You're absolutely correct. As uh, Coquitlam, now they're starting to buzz. Phillips goes in. Phillips makes it a little bit of a move and gets hammered by Jones. That was a great attempt. It's a very nice attempt. It was good. Jones played the body, yep. took away that opportunity, and here he goes. A little bit of a spill happens on the near side. I think that was Allegretto. Uh, Cloverdale Colts, number 11. Smilly rings it around, but it's held in by Gunther. Puck on the near side right now. A little bit of a scramble, Green. Yeah, nobody's got it. There we go. Here we go. Number four, Gunther. Oh, coughs it up. Mackey can't get to it as the puck goes all the way back down into the Cloverdale Colt zone. Nobody seems to want to get possession of the puck and keep it right now. Well, they're trying, and there's a little bit of a hit from behind by number four, uh, Woods. Watch this. He comes creeping oh, on a come-up, Green. That's a boarding right I'm there. I'm surprised there's no call on this play. I'm shocked that there's no call. And right in front of the linesman, too. Yeah, that was a pretty blatant board, if oh, you yeah. ask me. Back in the action we go. Gunther carries out puck. Nope, he doesn't. He gets stood up at the line. But Phillips recollects it for his team, who now enters the zone. And the Colts has a shot. Oh, it's in it. Big save by Gill. He didn't know where it was. Ooh. 
Luckily, that whistle got blown down, and he got to get out of jail free card. Green I'm starting to notice that we're hearing uh, the name Phillips a lot on the uh, Cloverdale or uh, Coquitlam team. I also noticed that as well. Coquitlam has definitely come to life here, Green. They've uh, they have. They've been buzzing as of late. As play continues on, Coquitlam with that puck backhands it right to. Oh, a little bit of a hit in the corner of my eye, saw I seen. Did you saw see that? Yeah, I saw it just at the last second. I don't know if the referee's arm went up or not. I, oh, uh, he did not. Well, that's a linesman, isn't it? Nope. Referee's got orange stripes on. Oh, okay. Well, then I guess play's going to continue on. Here we go. Coquitlam Allegrado feeds it right out front. A little bit of a fan, and there's a big hit from behind Oof. as we run this back. And again, no penalty on the play. That's a oh, dude. That's another one on. from behind, Green. That's two huge hits from behind with no call. Now there is contact allowed. This is U15, not but hits from behind. not hits from behind. That's where that stop sign's there, and there's a huge save by Costa as we run this back, powered by Biosteel. Yeah, this is a great save by Costa. Slides over, gets the pad out. Beautiful save. Mackey was doing all the dangling, but Costa ripped that from up under him, Green. Yes, he did. Can't dangle no more. There's no ornament dang dangling <laughs> from the tree for Mackey. Peralt with that puck feeds it over to Viveros. Viveros right out front was looking for Woods. Woods collects that puck, fires it over to the near side. Viveros after it. Pushed into the boards a little bit. Trying to shake him off with a puck is Goodman. He's trying to be a good man right there and shake he him off the He was trying to be a good man. It worked out as a Coquitlam. Oh, he he's a little bit of a hit. hit. Yeah, Shin got one right to the head, not the Shin. And look at they called it on him too. Well, Green, they finally got the whistle out of their pocket and they're calling head contact as we run it back. Sponsored by Biosteel. Yeah, maybe the ref just had to warm up a bit because he did see that one. He missed the other ones, but I mean, at least he's called something finally. Well, an ice arena is cold, Green. His hands might have been cold. Now they're warming up, and because of that, the Colts player is going to have to go sit in the penalty box here. Maybe his whistle was cold. Power play for Coquitlam. Let's see if they can capitalize. Nice shot. Nice save by Gil. Coquitlam after it as they lose possession of the zone. Goodman in his own end. Good pass. Right over to Gunther. Gunther carries it into the zone. Gunther makes a little bit of a move. Nice feed right to Phillips who has a shot. Gill makes an up-ended save. Puck gets right back to Gunther from the point. Gunther right over to Phillips. Phillips walks into oh. the shot and scores! Oh. Coquitlam, MHA, our first to strike here, Green. And it's Phillips. It was a beautiful goal by Phillips. You're absolutely correct. The name we've been hearing, yeah. just heard it again, Green. Dude, and with an absolute sniper of a shot here, too. Look at the way that the Coquitlam MHA is moving the puck. That was a great initial shot by Phillips. Yeah. Did the right thing by feeding it back to Gunter, creating space for him to move around. Now he's oh. open, receives the puck, feeds it right in the back of the net with the beautiful Sally to top it off, Green. Through the smallest little hole, too, he put that puck in the back of the net. Like a mouse running through a mouse hole after that cheese. One to nothing, Coquitlam over Cloverdale. All right, first to the board. Really good game so yeah. far. Green, the Colts started off strong, and then I don't know what happened. It's been all Coquitlam ever since. I think Coquitlam just had to get warmed up. Yeah, it took him a, a hot minute, and then... I mean, ever since then. Dude, now they look great. They look fantastic. They're so moving the puck around really well. Well, we know that both teams can play hockey if they want to, Green. That's what that showed me. So let's see who wants it more. That's the classic tale of the tape here. If they couldn't play hockey, we wouldn't be here. That's right. Allegrano feeds it. That hit the stick at number 12, Hopkins. An awkward bounce. Allegrano still has it. Nice puck movement by Allegrano right over to the far side to Gunther. Gunther gets hammered by number five, Cho. A little bit of a scramble you know, on the shots, far side. Clo Cloverdale usually plays a lot more body. And they haven't been doing... Oh! oh! A shot from the point! Number 17, Fabro! A little leaker there, Green. Yeah, the the, Sorry, the tap ahead. was leaking, and Fabro is the one who's going to get the point on that. Gil thought he had that puck. He did. Like he did. You could see it when it comes in. He thinks he has the puck, and then it just trickles beside him. Well, let's look. There's Gunther right to Fabro. Fabro has a shot. Gill's oh. not screened at all. He just didn't get all of it, Green. Yeah, that's right. And it happens, man. It happens sometimes, and that's just the way it goes. Well, in the game of hockey, anything can happen, and right there, we just seen that happen. Yeah, we did. Two to nothing. Coquitlam over Cloverdale with a minute and 25 seconds left to go in this first period. Great game. Really good game so far. Cloverdale. Oh! oh! 
Oh, a bit of a hit on Allegrado, but again, he's not stunned, Green. This kid's a tough kid. We've seen him take a couple hits, and he's not even phased. Yep. Cloverdale Colts. Oh, man, what are you doing? Pass right back to his goaltender was number 11, Smilly. Face off one by Woods. Cloverdale Colts can't clear the zone. Gunther holds it in. Reaching for it is Phillips. Look at Phillips. Nice move. Right to the 17. Fabro has a shot. shot. Fabro is looking for back-to-back -back goals there, Green. That's a great shot. Jones has that puck. And that's going to do it for the first period. Two to nothing. Coquitlam over Cloverdale. That was a great first period. Listen, before you get into the second period, do a small favor if you haven't. Hit the subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Don't forget, today's episode has been powered by Biosteel. Back in the action, live here at the Poirier Sporting Recreation Complex, or whatever it's called. And Green, we got ourselves a really good game. I noticed the shots were 11 to 8 as well. Another, another signal that this is a, yeah, a close game. It's close, man. Let's see if Cloverdale can uh, strike and start to bounce back, Green, or if Coquitlam's going to keep on running away with it. Uh, nice puck movement by Coquitlam. It's Miller. Miller right back, and there's a little bit of a slewy from behind. He's going to get interference. The ref made no mistake oh, right there. He's calling him a hook. I don't think this was a hook, but we're going to have to run it back and go to our senior penalty correspondent, Aaron Green. I don't think it was a hook either. It's just an interference, man. Well, I think he slew-footed him, Green. Oh, okay. He kicked his foot out, eh? I think he kicked his foot out. If you watch that back a couple times, you might see it. Maybe I'm wrong, but Viveros is going to have to go sit. Putting Coquitlam on the power play. It's not what they need right now. No, it is not. But if you're a Coquitlam fan, it's exactly what you want. Yes, sir. Here we go. Cloverdale Colts in their own zone. It's Phillips who has it on the far side. Phillips backhands it. Oh, right over he had to the number shot. seven. Goodman. Puck loose right up front. Number four. Oh, he it. Sean and Phillips gets his second goal of the game. Putting Coquitlam up three to nothing over the Cloverdale Colts. That was a really nice goal, man. Puck was bouncing all over the place. Bounced perfectly out front to him. I like how Phillips found that present for him yeah. right out front. Greeny wasted no time. It was a stocking stuffer. It's like Santa came. It was a stocking stuffer. Goodman had the initial shot. Look at that. It almost beat Gill again. Another trickler. And there comes Phillips. I like that one knee down. Let's it rip right in front. No one's on him. Makes no mistake. Gets the goal, putting his team up three to nothing over the Cloverdale Colts so far in the second period. I agree with you. That was a very good job by him. 16 to 8 green. It looks like the Coquitlam is starting to run away on the shot clock a little bit. And Phillips Tampering. has another shot, fires it wide. I think you nailed it right there. Phillips is definitely one of their star players. Oh. There's a beautiful tip that just went wide. I don't know if Gill got a piece of it or not. Oh man, it looked like to me like it went in. Selly Jr. makes an appearance on the camera out there taking some photos. Yeah. Follow him on Instagram at Selly Jr. Number seven, Cocus with that puck. Cocus skating in the neutral zone. Oh, I thought he was going to leave it for 13. Now somebody comes back, has it, fires it right out Ooh, front. Nice. That was a nice play by Cocus. A great feed, man. Great nope. intent. It was. Oh, oh! And there's a big hit by the Cloverdale Colts screen. I if, think he jumps. Yep. He does. That could have been a charging call. Yeah, he jumped. He left the ground. Look at the ref. That uh. was Nelson. <laughs> That was Nelson and Green. This is what we have learned this year. Hockey is a forever learning game. We are constantly learning as well, being filmers, commentators, analyzing. And if you leave your feet, that is an automatic charging. Except if you're in front of the ref. <laughs> then it's just nothing. Here we go. Number four, Gunther has a shot, and Gill swallows that up. Dude, I love that he was looking right at him. And still no call. Coquitlam gets away from that. Throws it right out front through a couple players. Cloverdale, nice little move by number 13, Nelson. Nelson with that puck enters his zone. Nelson oh, makes nice a little move. bit of move to go around Fabro and then eats a body. Good body by yep. Gunther. But uh, Cloverdale still has possession. There's Ooh. some fighting going on in front. It's Nelson Focus with that puck. Cocus is causing a ruckus. That's what he does, Green. That's what he does. Jones lets it rip a little bit wide on the near side. As Cocos throws a hit as well as another Cloverdale player. And now Cloverdale's starting to get physical. It's probably what they need to do at this point. Definitely what they need to do at this point, man. If you're not going to beat them to the puck all the time, just beat it. play them hard with the body. Man. That's Make right. Make them scared of it. Make them scared of that puck. Make them play hot potato, Green. Come in hot. Fabro fires it over to the far side. Gunther almost got it deep. Jones intercepted it. Now he holds possession. As the Cloverdale Colts are starting their breakout. Nice pass. Here we go. Number five, Cho on the near side. Cho right up oh. front. And a huge save by Costa. 
Atlanta as Cloverdale almost got their first point of the night. Dude, Cloverdale did an absolute textbook tape to tape there, but Costa was just on fire and stopped it. Lee hit the pad of Costa. Was probably looking to go five hole in between those pads. 100%. A beautiful save regardless, Green. Yeah. Coquitlam with that puck. Trying to get a stretch breakout. Didn't work out for him as Cloverdale dumps it back in their zone. Goodman looking, get him. looking for a breakout. No pressure from oh. Cho. I noticed that. A nice glove by the Cloverdale player. There we go. it scores! Number 16, Lee gets the first goal of the game for the Cloverdale Colts. And Green, that was a beautiful one. I love how he gloved that down. They were trying to clear the zone. It was because of Lee that they didn't. And then he settles that puck and snipes. Yeah. Look at this right there. Number seven, Goodman. Trying to be a good man, but he failed. He was a bad man there, Green. And 16, Lee capitalized on his mistake, gloved that puck down, and sniped one. Got his team on the board. The best part about that is he didn't rush it either. Like, he got the puck, calmed it down first, and then wired off a shot, right? It was a really pretty goal to watch. Yeah. Three to one, Coquitlam over Cloverdale, Green. Here we go. We got ourselves a hockey game. Now the Cloverdale's on the board. Let's see if that Put catapults the them and uh, gets them going, even though they were buzzing in the last couple minutes of play that we've been watching, Green. It's back and forth. This is a, it's a tabletop. Green. Yep, I agree. Oh, Cloverdale, number 17, has a shot. Nice loose. job, and Naki puck is loose, and now the whistle gets blown. Back in the action we go. Nelson gains oh, his own. Side to me. Leaves it off over to Kokus, who has a shot. Oh, Green, that puck was loose, and the referee blew the whistle down. He's saying, my bad, guys, my bad. Maybe he'll apologize for those other penalties he didn't call as well. He's just not used to blowing the whistles so that threw himself <laughs> off. He was like, what am I doing? I'm sorry, referee. You can chirp Aaron Green back in the comments. Do that, please. I love it when Aaron Green gets chirped. He loves Never it. happens. He loves it. I know. Look at Cocos go, man. Stop being scared. Chirp Aaron Green. Do it in the comments. Uh, back in the action, Cloverdale Colts. Oh, oh, big hit by number 16, Lee, behind the scenes. But it looks like the Coquitlam player bounced right back up. Yeah, we caught that just in the corner of the screen. In the corner. It's Miller. Miller right over to number 14, Massage. And Coquitlam is now starting to buzz. Not for long, though, as the Colts turn it right back around. Lee on the far side. Nice hip check by Great. the captain of the Coquitlam. Very good job. That was a good hip check yep. by a good man. It was a good man there, Green. Good man with a good hip check. Allegrado fed it over to Gunther. Gunther making a couple moves. It was almost left it for Phillips. A little bit of a scramble. Fabro picks it back up. Big save by Gill. Got the blocker on that, eh? Marshall going for escape for the Colts. Marshall in the neutral zone turns it over to Gunther, who backhands it and turns it over to Morton. Morton right over to Nelson. Morton. Oh, sorry, Sony. And Green, they are just turning this puck over left, right, and center right now. Yes, they are. There's a lot of turnovers going on. Uh, let's stop that. <laughs> let's stop that. Quit doing that. Makes for a scrambly game of hockey. Yeah, it does. I mean, but they're both just, it just goes to show you how even it is, right? It is very even, Green. And a nice blocker save. And here we go, Green, starting it off. Is the puck all the way back down in the Coquitlam zone. Goodman fires it over. No one's there. Nice. Jones is after nope. it. Jones collects that puck in his own zone. Fires it over to the near side. Hammered by the point. That Whoa. was tipped by number eight, Kim, it looked like, which sent that puck in a little bit of a misdirection. Yeah. Change of trajectory. And uh, Gill had to be sharp there. We don't have a shoulder. I think you're right. Cloverdale Colts have that puck. I don't know why Cloverdale is trying to move the puck out of the zone when there's a guy covered. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know, Green, but they finally got it out of their zone all the way back into the Coquitlam zone. Goodman collects it. Goodman's going to start the breakout for his team. Nice pressure by Mackey. Caused a little bit of a disturbance in the Coquitlam zone as the puck gets dumped back deep into their zone. Point man lets it go through traffic. Ooh. Hits a couple bodies right there. Puck loose out front. They're walking away in it, and there's the oh, whistle. Oh. Oh, and oh, some post oh. whistle scrumming is going on, Green. I think we're oh, he's having a send someone in. Yeah, the referee's given a couple penalties. I think we might get a coincidental here, and we are going to as we run it back and see exactly what happened. I mean, they just start getting into it. He could have let this go, but I guess I mean if they do it, 
more than a few times. They went back and forth. Nah, I still would have let that go. It's just a little scrum. It's a little scrum, Green. It's right? still going Break on. Break them up. Send them on their way. There's nothing major going on no. right now. Uh, maybe because it is minor hockey, that could be why. We see a lot of that in junior. Almost every single whistle, pulse whistle, there's a scrum. Just uh -huh. like that. And uh, play continues. It's but supposed to happen in hockey. Yes, it is. But because it's minor hockey, maybe that's why they call it. I don't know. Sure. I, w I wouldn't have called that. I wouldn't have. Here we go, back in the action. Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association. Fabro fires it towards the net. Hits a body! Green, did that oh, hit number it. nine? So? That might have hit so. I don't know if that was Fabro's second goal or so. Fabro's taking the lead in the celebration lineup, so we're going to have to have a closer look before I decide who to give this goal to, Green. Yeah, let's uh, run it back and see so. Here we go. Let's see, if, let's see what happened. Fabro lets it go. Green, I think, did that the Cloverdale goal? Yes, Colts? it did. It hit number 14 Peralt stick, I yes, think. Yes, it did. That was Fabro's goal. It right went from right, the right off the shaft of the Cloverdale player stick. That wasn't So's goal. That was Fabro's goal. No. That means Fabro's going to get a second. Four to one. Coquitlam over at Cloverdale with 20 seconds remaining in the second period. That was an unfortunate one if you're a Cloverdale Colts fan. It was indeed. If you're a Coquitlam fan, I mean, that was great. It was Dude, any goal's a goal, right? That's right, Green. It depends on how you look at it. We are non-biased. We just call the game how we see it. Yep. Nice move by the Coquitlam team. 18, wow, tries to get it deep in their zone, but it doesn't work out. It's Phillips who Dude, disturbs this plan, and the buzzer goes right before he's able to get that shot off. 4-1, to one, Coquitlam over Cloverdale here. And what a game we have on our hands, Green. It's a good game. Listen, before you get into this third period, if you haven't already, do us a small favor and hit that subscribe button. Smash that thumbs up. Let's get right back into it. Oh, don't forget, this episode's been powered by Biosteel. 26 shots to 17 in favor oh. of Coquitlam. And what happened with the goaltender, Green? Dude, I think he got run into right out right here, I think. Yeah, he did. He got a yeah, shoulder right to, the, right to the face, Green. And he also made a huge save as yeah. well. As he was going down, he kind of grabbed the Cloverdale player as he was going by them. I don't know, Green. We've, we're moved past that. Here we go. Oh, it only happened a second ago. It did, but seconds fly fast here at Sally Entertainment. There's no time to waste, Green. Plus, you're old, so I mean, you have less time to waste. Seconds fly even faster. They do. <laughs> <laughs> Phillips for the Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association feeds it right back to Fabro. Fabro Ooh. finds the man in the middle trying to do a little nifty between the legs. Would have been sweet. And Green, I guess if you're up four to one, that's the time you can be trying that stuff. You, d you don't want to see that stuff when it's a 0-0 zero -zero game, but if you have a little bit of a lead, I mean, why not, Green? The worst that's going to happen is you're not going to connect like we've seen. Oh! But the best that's going to happen is you're going to get a highlight. And there's a big hit. Dude, Speaking clean. of highlights, that was a nice clean shoulder, Green. Dude, that's beautiful. Phillips, he's, do he's doing it all out there tonight. He's scoring goals. That's he's making game. hits. What a game for Phillips, especially to be captured on film by Selly Entertainment. He's got to be happy with this, the way that this game is there. going. So has that puck. So lets it rip, and Gill gets the glove on it. Colts need to start putting more pucks on net, Green. Yeah, and they got to put a little more pressure on the puck. They do, they do. I mean, they started off really good in the beginning of this game, and um, they've had flashes, but Coquitlam's definitely been the stronger team in my eyes so I feel far. Like they're all, they all sit around just waiting for the breakout instead of getting the puck. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean, Green. Just my observation. I mean, what do I know? Our observation. I said observation. Sure you did. Puck goes all the way down. He's waiting for an ice in, and there it is. Back in the Coquitlam zone, faceoff one by the Colts. Sony lets it go. Costa slid all the way over to make a save. I don't think he needed to, though. Cloverdale after that. Cross ice over to Wow. Whoa, right back to Sony. Sony trying to find the man in neutral ice. Couldn't find him. Turned around by Coquitlam. Turned around by Cloverdale. <laughs> Kokus picks it up. Kokus starting to break out of his own as he picks Get up speed wheels. and wheels into the zone of Coquitlam. Kokus on the far side has a shot! And oh. oh, he hit the side of the net, Green. Kid's got wheels, man. Good opportunity by Kokus. I want to see more of that out of him, Green. It, it looks like when he wants to try, he can. Oh, is there going to be a penalty here? I don't know. I, I feel like it because the referee had his arm on. There we go. What it is charging. Charge. I think that's what the call was. And there he comes in. 
Soft. There you go. Aaron Green does not like the call. And number you like two, call? Sal G is going to have to go sit. And Green, I'm not the senior penalty correspondent, so it doesn't right. matter what I think. Allegrado feeds it over to Phillips. Nice little move by Phillips. Phillips has a shot. Makes it oh. by Gill. Puck dangerously out front. Scrambling. And Gill found it to get the whistle and freeze play. Man, they had a shot right there. Hong from the point. Hong right over to Hopkins. Hopkins down low to the man behind the net. Right back to the point. Number 14. The Sage. Great the movement right Sage now. over to Miller. Miller has a shot. Puck oh, up front. Is. Right on the tape of number 12, Hopkins. He didn't pull the trigger green. Too hot to handle. Yeah, I think the gun was jammed. Uh, nice save by Gill. Dude, that was right on the doorstep. As too. the Colts clear the zone, and they got to be feeling the pressure from Coquitlam right now. Four to one, Green. They need to start building on that if they want any chance of getting closer to tying this game. Right now, it seems like it's all Coquitlam. Dude, they cannot get any puck luck. Either. They're running with the momentum, and there's a backhand just shy of the net. Puck goes over to the point man, Lesage. Lesage over to Miller, who has a shot. There puck out front. They're walking away to Hopkins. Ooh, eats a cross check dude. from behind from Woods as the referee's arm goes up, and he's definitely going to call that one. That was a good call. Was that a slash that he just signaled? <laughs> I hope not. What? I hope not. Please, please don't say that he gave him a slap for this hit from behind. No, let's have a look. Green. I would assume they're whacking away that that's the penalty right there yeah. on number four, Woods. Let's have a look at this. The referee. Are we going to be able to see the call? Nope, we're not. All right. Well, number 12, uh, Hopkins is going to have to go sit. Apparently for a slash that we did not see. There we go. Well, someone's in the box here and that's all I know as the Colts are now on the power play let's see if they can capitalize as number four Woods is whacking away at it wasn't Woods the one who cross checked really quick am I hallucinating I, dude my memory is is dope Green. I don't know what happened there we move on life happens so fast you just have to keep rolling with it keep there, going. there's no time to look back maybe it's onset dementia who knows Green <laughs> who knows and who's Who's the one to tell? It's something. It's something, all right. That's all we know. Mackey on the far side of half boards. Mackey moves it right down. Right back to Mackey. Can't get the shot off. Coquitlam intercepts that as Fabro's after it to clear the zone. Oh, where's that puck? Oh, yeah, I thought it was going down the other end. Oh, so did the cameraman, but uh, apparently not. <laughs> Jones needs a little bit of a hit from behind as he gets pinned on those far side boards. The backboards, I guess you can call them green. Comes up with it is Mackey. Oh, dude. There we go, he Green. Cross checked him what, for no reason here. Something happened right there. I don't know. He was just sitting on down below me, cross checked him for no reason. I saw it. Well, too. Green, I think there was more that we didn't see. Um, well, let's run it back. I don't think we're going to be able to run it back because we didn't see the rest of what happened. Uh, but he's going to get a penalty, and we're just going to continue on play here. It was, that was a bad one. Okay. Well, Goodman has a shot, and I say by Gill. Goodman fires that puck over to the far side. And the Colts clear their zone. Phillips after it for Coquitlam. It's going to be an end -end I don't know if time's winding down or not, Green, but uh, looks like it. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe there's. Uh, I like the goaltender from behind. You can see him juggling, getting ready for the game yeah. coming up. Yeah, I saw that. I like that. Coquitlam Hong spins around from danger. Hong feeds it over to Goodman. Goodman fires it up to Phillips. Intercepted by Sony, dumped back into the neutral zone. Coquitlam races it in. It's Gunther. Gunther makes a move, lost it, but is picked up by Phillips. Phillips, there I don't know. A trip. If, I don't know if he got tripped there, if he just fell. Green. Well, it looked like a stick was on his feet. Well, that's the angle that we've seen, but it might have not been. Referee was ready to blow the whistle. <laughs> it's too cold on his lips. Gunther from the point. Gunther lets it go through traffic, and Gill collects that puck. And there's the whistle. Quick whistle, too. Face off one by Coquitlam. Gunther walks it in a little bit, has a shot. Gill makes oh, an initial loose. save. Puck loose right off front, and there's a push from behind by Salji. I don't think there's any penalty on that play either, Green. <laughs> That's okay. It's a little bit of a physical game. There might be some rough stuff. There might be some dirty stuff. There's some clean stuff. There's a little bit of all stuff, Green. There's a little bit of everything mixed in this it, bag. It's all seasoning here tonight. It's an all season bagel from Tim Hortons. But not anymore, because Tim Hortons has gone down here. Oh! oh, my goodness. Nice hit. What a huge hit by Nelson. 
Man, let's run that back and appreciate it, Green. Dude, this is a good one, man. Nelson, boom. That was not bored in. His back was, he was not nope. on his back. That was a clean hit. You could see he's on the ground like, oh, man, I just got rocked. He kept his hands down. It was a great hit. Now, and there's then, a little bit of a... Way to go, Cocos. A high one by Cocos, but I think that one went underneath the radar. And the referee didn't see it. Well, he's back in the As he should, Green. As he should. Coquitlam. Gunther with that puck on the near side. Gunther turns away from Salji. Looks like they're clapping on the ice, Green. I don't know if the end of the penalty is happening or the end of the game. One of the two. And that's going to do it. 4-1, Coquitlam over Cloverdale. in a really exciting game to watch. It was a great game. A I mean, I, th I thought it was fantastic. A lot of action, Green. Some great goals, big hits, some nice saves. Yep. It had it all. Let's have a look at the play of the game brought to you by Bilesteel. Mm -hmm. And Green, you know it's going to be oh, all yeah. the goals here. Especially I mean, that one. That was the one that opened it up right there. Uh, Phillips and then right there, Fabro from the point. The old leaker leaked in, Green, like a leaky apartment roof. That's uh, worth a le leaker. Right out front. Uh, there's number two for Phillips. Wide open, no one on him. And here's his fourth goal, Green. That one that just ricocheted off at number 14. Landed in the back of the net. I mean, what can you say? Four goals, Green. There they are. Four to one. Great game. Thank you so much for having us. Yes. On that note, let's go down to interview the MVP of the Coquitlam team. See you guys later. Ryan Vincent here from Cell Entertainment, sponsored by Biosteel. I'm with Vade of the Coquitlam Minor Hockey Association. First and foremost, how are you feeling after that big victory? Uh, really good. You guys looked out there, you were buzzing. What was the game plan for you guys going up against this team uh, to solidify the victory, which you did? Uh, we just got pucks in deep, one man four check, hemmed them in their zone. We got a few power play goals, which is good. You look very good in the power play. Hey, on behalf of Biosteel, you are the MVP, so here's a brand new Biosteel water bottle for you and a case of white freeze. Uh, there you go. After that, a couple quick fun questions before I let you go. Besides hockey, what's your favorite hobby or pastime? Uh, I like playing basketball, football. Oh. Awesome. Last question, who's your favorite hockey player? Probably JT Miller. Oh, man. Beauty. Hey, congratulations on the big one.